Joe Biden, having seized the presidency, developed a frantic legislative activity. However, few of his hastily issued executive orders will benefit America's economy. The first was the decree on the 100 days of mask regime planned to combat the pandemic, which will oblige employees of all federal authorities to wear masks and maintain social distance. A new plan to stimulate the pandemic-stricken US economy is to be launched shortly, for which Biden has pledged at least $1.9 trillion. In the meantime, small business amid pandemic restrictions is smoothly and merrily sliding into the abyss. And this despite the fact that Russia, China and almost all CIS countries, having practically defeated the epidemic, are already restoring production with might and main. Biden decided to stop the construction of the Trump Wall on the border with Mexico to curb the flow of illegal migrants, which was only partially built by the outgoing administration. As you know, look for who benefits. So who benefits from unimpeded drug transit across the Mexican border? Oh, it seems that someone is in the share. The new governor of the White House has cancelled the US withdrawal from the World Health Organization, which President Trump reasonably accused of ineffectiveness in the face of the coronavirus pandemic. That's right, it is necessary to somehow withdraw $400 million of taxpayers from the country, transferring them into the pocket of global capital, which practically owns this organization. With a stroke of Biden's pen, the United States has returned to its participation in the Paris Climate Agreement, which Donald Trump had withdrawn from it in 2017, believing that the green restrictions would harm the country's industry and lead to bankruptcy of the largest American companies. As you know, the political platform of the Democrats in recent years has openly embarked on the tracks of the green economy. Democrats now have a universal basis for closing any business in the United States. Following this green logic, Biden has already withdrawn Trump's 2017 approval for the Keystone Echo Pipeline. But the decree froze not only this joint project with Canada, but also revoked permission for the extraction of oil and gas, as well as for the search for new fields in the regions of Utah and New England. And if the latter affect only internal US players, with whom it will be easier for the administration to deal, then the Keystone Echo case is already a geopolitical issue. After all, this is not only about the loss of thousands of jobs, but also about the foreign money invested in the project. Texas has suffered in the forefront. Oh, in vain is it you, Joe, in vain. Biden lifted restrictions on the entry of Muslims imposed by Trump four years ago under the pretext of concern for state security. By the way, the US Supreme Court a year later confirmed by its decision the right of the head of the White House to establish such restrictions. State security? No, you haven't heard. If anything, we have National Guardsmen. And we love them. Jill Biden handed out cookies on camera to fighters who spent the night on cold concrete in an underground parking lot. And Donald Trump, having learned about this, settled the frozen National Guards and policemen in his Trump Tower hotel. At your own expense. The next was the decree on the conduct of a new census among stateless persons in American territory, including illegal migrants. Another document signed by Biden will strengthen the program to protect young migrants, known as the Dreamers, launched under Barack Obama. This program provides deportation protection and other benefits for stateless minors. In addition, Biden's degree abolishes the limit set by the previous administration on the number of refugees from other countries that the United States can receive annually, from the current 15,000 people at once to 150,000. Yes, the new administration needs new voters. You can't fool the old on the chaff a second time. Joe Biden also did not leave aside the traditional agenda for modern Democrats. He froze student loan payments until September 30 of this year and ordered to strengthen protection against discrimination in the workplace on the basis of sexual orientation and gender identity. What's next? Abolishing student loans and shifting this burden onto the shoulders of all taxpayers. Interestingly, Biden separately invited executive officials to join the new ethical doctrine. Each of the appointees in the new administration will have to sign an ethical commitment that all federal officials recognize and support the independence of the US Department of Justice. That is, all courts in the future will automatically have the right to throw all local claims into the trash. Joe Biden signed decrees on financial support for the population in a pandemic. He raised the minimum wage for federal employees to $1.15 an hour, more than double the previous figure. In addition, he instructed to provide emergency assistance to working families affected by the crisis. This is, most likely, about helicopter payments. Everything seems to be fine. 
In addition, the money for this, most likely, will simply be printed, which will cause an explosive rise in inflation. Biden signed a decree banning leasing of federal land for the development of minerals, oil rigs and natural gas. This has cancelled jobs. On the same day, he announced that the United States was facing an economic crisis. So, what is this sleazy? Oh sorry, Sleepy Joe destroying America's economy for... There are several goals. The first is to put the entire capable population of America on a leash of subsidies and benefits. Anyone who is completely dependent on the state will think five times whether it is worth opening his mouth to criticism. Second, the United States is turning into a banana republic and becoming the last cash cow of the globalists. There is reason to believe the patriots of different countries managed to greatly thin out the financial flows of unjustly acquired money to such an extent that it was decided to milk America dry. It was a stash for a rainy day, which for them, it seems, has already come.